Hi, I'm Jeff Styers, Precision Farming Specialist from Berkey's Farm Stores, and here's another trick I've learned on how to use the AccuGuide system in Case IH mid-range and flagship combines. Often in the spring, our customers utilize a three-month subscription for accuracy in planning operations. Come fall, those subscriptions have expired, and often those growers rely on WAS or a less accurate signal to harvest their soybeans. Another function of our combines has allowed our customers to increase the accuracy of their combines using auto guidance and a WAS GPS signal. The function of the combine relies on two buttons to adjust the steering of the machine left to right on the guidance line. The first button is on the back side of the handle, it's the shift button. We press and hold the shift button. On the front side, you have your feeder house tilt left to right. If you need to move to the left, you press the shift button and press the feeder house tilt left button. This will move the machine, whatever the nudge increment is set in the display, left or right of the guidance line. These functions have only been tested utilizing Case IH AccuGuide guidance systems through a Pro 6 or 700 display. Okay, once we've created a guidance line, the first step to being able to move the combine left or right of that line is to define the nudge value. So to do that, we hit the back button, and we go to Toolbox, and we scroll over until we find our Nav button. On the Nav screen, there is a Nudge Definition field. If you click in there, you can type in a value from half an inch all the way up to five inches. For our display purposes today, we're going to leave it at five inches, so that way you can see the value on the run screen. Once we have our nudge definition set, we can go back to our run screen. Our run three is typically our auto guidance screen. We turn our separator on, our feeder house on, We engage on our guidance line. Once we're on our guidance line, we can shift the machine left or right without having to reach for any buttons or on the screen or on the armrest by pressing and holding the shift button and then the feeder house tilt button in the direction we want to go. I hit the button three times because our definition is set at 5 inches, we are now 15 inches to the right of the guidance line that we created. This is very handy in keeping the machine harvesting a full header width and not leaving any soybeans on that very outer edge of that cutter bar.